to the Hey Sister podcast. I'm Tabby. And I'm Rachel. And you can find us on Instagram. And uh, where he has awesome books. And Hey Rachel Lake. And Hey Sister Yarn Company. On Hey Sister Yarn Co. on Instagram, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll have links to all that in the description down here. And do you want to show this week? Yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot. It was the cra- it was Christmas. I think everyone understands. Dude, it was crazy last I time. I totally like I thought about it once and then never again. So this yeah. one will have shown. I didn't even think, I don't think I thought, thought about it once. I did once and it was like I was I think I was at the dye studio or it's okay, something. like we anyway. didn't really talk about a whole bunch of new stuff last yeah. time. Anyway, there'll be show notes in yeah. the description box. So Okay. So wow. Okay, so it's the new year. Happy New Year. It's like halfway through January now. But, <laughs> oh, it's Ariane's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. We need, I need to text her later. Yeah. Anyways, sorry about that. January 14th, and it is almost 5 o'clock in the evening. Because we're awesome. Because we're <laughs> awesome. Literally, we've been trying to start this since 1. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah. What are we going to talk about? I have a notes here. That's why I keep playing. So, we are losing the light again. I'm not going to apologize for it, but we're going to start with knitting, and then we'll get to show, like, the other Yeah, we stuff. have some shop news, some actually pretty exciting shop news. Yes. But we'll be talking about that after the knitting, because we want to show you as, you know, clearly as possible really? what we're knitting on. So. Yeah, we have, I have a bunch of sewing I did, and we have show, um, shop news, can't say that today, and also... Rachel did so much sewing, I'm so jealous. Well, I was plans on Plans for the, for the year, I think we'll have a little... I knew I should have taken my sewing You should have. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Okay. Plans for the no. Yeah, we should talk about. We'll talk about plans for the year. Yeah, we'll talk about that things. towards the end. So, um, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, look at you. Show your finished okay. object. Well, you show. She's wearing something she made though. Oh yeah. I all know. well, really, all she made. Oh yeah, you can see. Okay, so I'm wearing my Veronica by um, Shannon Cook. This is so good. And so very Shannon. Yeah. Anyway, so I think I'll stand up. Maybe Let's see if you can get in the <laughs> light. Tape. There we go. You can see the nice ridges there. Anyway, so. So good. I'm wearing that with a Nico top, which is. I do love it in this fabric. I love it so much. Um, it was just a sewing pattern by True Bias. and It's so good, you guys. We both made this recently. Oh my it's goodness. It's so good. I was really, like, a little nervous about it because, um, anyway, turtlenecks She's and. She's a little large chested. For sure. <laughs> and so, um, but it's a I really, think it's really good. good. I feel like I, but everyone I've seen, um, everyone I've seen, yeah, looks good on every, this shirt looks good on everybody. And I love it so much. And she has really good, like, like instructions and stuff. Anyway, so did I love it. Did you use a stretch stitch? No. Did just as a zigzag. I did use a stretch stitch. Yeah. Okay. On you can't tell on this stuff. though. I know. I love so that nice. so much. Anyway, I sewed it on my sewing machine. I didn't use the serger at all for this. And this is the nicest either. looking knit garment that I've Sometimes finished. I think that with like really stretchy knits the serger actually makes it harder because yeah. of like anyway. So this is like I think this has over 100% stretch or something crazy. It like is that. Crazy. It's like 150 percent I don't know but this is a fabric from Blackbird um, Fabrics which we love and yes, um, it's a rib knit. A micro rib knit or something and it's the heather gray color. I have that in like four colors. I'm so jealous. I, I don't think I've actually sewn anything. It's like the that. nicest thing you should. I want to make like a whole like wardrobe of wardrobe of Nico top <laughs> in this fabric. I love ribness, so yeah. I always have. Yeah, I do. I'm you so do. Excited. And yeah, so excited that you can actually get decent ones. Now. Yeah, it's like, so good, and it's not like anyway. It's super stretchy, really nice, comfy, and I'm wearing it with a gypsum skirt. So yeah, it's a really. I'm not gonna stand up and show that because it's made really out of a really pretty tensile though. It's, maybe we'll take a picture. Yeah, next time you wear it. Uh-huh. And we, oh. we need to start doing that anyways. That's one of my New Year's I was resolutions. Gonna, yes. More pictures. More pictures of makes. Yeah. So that way they're actually, I can remember what I actually made. I know. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah. I'm not wearing anything I made today. So there's that. I did not need this She was going to wear. I did. Rachel got here and I had my, well, mine wasn't actually a Nico top. It was really a Rowan. Bad. A Rowan tee. It was a, but it was a gray turtleneck. It was like slightly different grades. We looked slightly like, I don't know, like we were wearing a uniform or something. Yeah. So I felt bad because it would have changed. It's okay. But. It's at my house. I have extra yeah, clothes. So. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's that. Mm-hmm. Show us your finished object. Oh, I just did. You don't have any finished objects to show? Do I? Oh no, I do. Where is it? I have a finished object. Oh, I guess All right, I'm gonna show this. Oh yes. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited, and oh, I'm so. It's such a relief when a pattern is actually sent to testers. So that way, I've done like all I all I can think through. You know. 
the testers can tell me what I did wrong and then I can fix it hopefully. So, um, but yeah, this pattern is my ginger snap, ginger snap socks. You love them. Yes. So good. It's, um, this one was the first one I did and I didn't have any idea about sport weight socks when I was doing it. I just like guessed and it is the color work is too tight. I can get it on my foot, but it is not fun. And Rachel can't even get it on her hand. Just kidding. She can't. No, I don't think I can. It's tight. It is tight. She has little feet. I have little feet, so yeah. But the other socks I've worked on, this one is fine. And then uh, I've done a couple different sizes since then. So, But I love these, you guys. They're knit, it's knit out of Quince & Co. Chickadee in Alduin and Gingerbread, I think it is. Anyways, these are super fast because they're sport weight. It, like, builds so fast. I think so, anyway. Yes. I love it. I, I'm i sorry. I was totally distracted. But, yes. <laughs> you were laughing at me. I'm like, wait, what? Did you just think of something funny? I was just totally thinking about something else. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I love your socks, too. I'm knitting them. I'll show them in a minute. They're really good, guys. It's okay. We don't take each other too seriously here. Or ourselves. No. No. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> I don't know how to come back from that. I'm okay. super jealous of these. These are um, a finished object, my belated Christmas present for my mother-in-law. They're so pretty. Sorry. You should put them on and I, do this. Okay. Please. These are the Bracken. I'm going to take my right I'm going to totally make, make some of those. I Me need too. To I made two pairs so far. I made one for my grandma and one for my mother-in-law. And these were their Christmas Who's presents. Who's the pattern by? Um, hmm. I think it's While They Play. Okay. Oh, yeah. You it's said that last time. And I will link it this time for sure. Oh, my and word. They're so pretty. I want a pair just Play. like this. Oh. Like an in favorite tea or something. I have more of this yarn too. Is this like a single ply? This is Madeline Tosh vintage. How do you guys feel about single ply? I'm thinking about. I'd like to have some in the shop. Look how pretty they are. I think like so blend pretty. into my shirt. Okay, so <gasps> look at that, guys. Aren't they nice? I have a little bit of a. I need to. So that, that up. Yeah, but um, they were really easy to knit, guys. Super super easy, and I is love it a them. DK link? Or worsted? What is this? DK, to be? but my DK ones were a little on the snug. Not snug. They just weren't super loose. Like they they weren't even tight to get on. But this is worsted and I like I kinda like how this turned out better. So Well if I'm gonna wear a mitten, I think I want it to be a little bit not super tight. Yeah. Maybe like, not. And grandma's weren't even bad. They were just maybe it was because it was black yarn. You could kind of see through it a little okay, bit. Okay, I got you. Because this is lighter, you don't so, see it. I didn't take gauge though, so but I wouldn't have anyway. So I don't know. I never take gauge. I'm like disapproving, but I'm not actually disapproving. I look like I am, but you, you I don't. Can be. I don't gauge ever either until after I've knit something, and then I'll like measure to see what my gauge is. I I need to start anyway. I don't swatch. Yeah, yeah. I should. Yeah, I'm maybe just, that's a good goal for the new year for yes, me another to actually goal. do one Swatching. proper swatch. Anyway, love the Bracken mittens, and um, I think they're super pretty. So I hopefully. My mother-in-law thinks so too. They're so. Pretty. I did wait. I finished them a couple did you send days a ago. Or no? no, no, I was going to, but my lighting has been so bad in my house. You can never get a good picture. Anyway, that's lame. Yeah. Like, I took it off because I didn't want to snap. Okay, I'm like, I don't have any rings. I was like, surely the kids didn't take one of Dave's mom's ring. Okay. Anyway, that's so yeah, that will be sent out soon. Um, to her. so I had some finished objects that were like Christmas presents though, so I don't have them here. Yeah. I finished Zoe's little doll sweater. And it turned out so cute. Did you ever see it finished? I don't think so. It was so cute. I'll have to see if she, she has tried to I hope she hasn't pictures. lost it. Yeah. If she if she hasn't lost it yet, I will take a picture of it because it's super cute. I was like, I kinda want a sweater like this. Like, well, it's like it was a little really doll pretty. Sweater. So I think that'd be yeah. awesome. You finished Grandma? Did you show Grandma's hat last time? I I don't know where it is. I, we just got back from vacation. Yeah, my two, like two days ago, something. Three and days ago. I've been not, sick slash horrible migraines since then. So today I feel I feel better, and we had some um, drama happening earlier. So I have not had time to like unpack at all, or like, yeah. yeah, everything's still packed up. So anyway, I'll try to post a picture of it if I find it before I give it to her. But it's a really simple hat. Um, it's black and pink. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. So, anyway. Yeah, works in progress. Go for it. I'm going to go for this one because... Yes, please do. I want to work on this one this week. And oh, I, I have not worked on it except for like a row or two since the last podcast. But this oh, is my um, throwback thing. <laughs> you like whispering you back. <laughs> I'm only paying attention this time. <laughs> she is. <laughs> this would make a really pretty pullover. I kind of wish I had done that. Not really because I want a cardigan. It would be beautiful. I really am excited yeah, about this. I knew when I'll do a pullover. It's really nice. I oh like my word, it. the colors are so good. 
Yeah, I like it. Um, this is knit in our yarn in. Okay, can you tap on that on the screen? Yes. Okay, there we go. It's knit in our colors mahogany, um, drizzle, winter green, winter green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and gilded. So. So pretty. Um, I'm gonna be working on this, and then once I get some work done, I'll take some more pictures and get them up on Ravelry. Because I've really been enjoying doing that lately, lately taking pictures of what I'm doing. <laughs> That's my goal for the year, to take more pictures. So That's a good goal. one of my like top five goals, we'll see. Take more pictures of my family and just knitting and makes and Seriously. Rachel. Yeah, I was going to suggest that. but <laughs> I was, You're my family. I just wanted to clarify that I was including you in that. <laughs> I, was just I, was, I was trying to stop Should myself from saying it. So I'm like... <laughs> And me being definitely, stupid. Definitely gonna take pictures of her too. We're like in a okay. Yeah. yeah. You really don't have to. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, it was just being funny. Okay, so I will show this. Yeah. It's my newest cast on. Look, you already have more rows than I do in my sweater. Guys. Okay, so um I was not gonna cast these on because I don't really don't enjoy knitting magic loop. Oh, I love I'm so sad that you had to do nine inch circulars. But I didn't have nine inch circulars in twos or threes. We're which, gonna have them in the shop soon. Yes, we are, and that's very exciting because then I will have some. It'll be so nice that we can just like, if we need a size, we can just get one from there. Yep, it'd be awesome. So, um, definitely wish I was knitting these on nine inch circulars, but they're on my high, high, sharp interchangeables. Oh, and so can we just stand closer? I think you're good. It, it's pretty close. So, yeah, um, I really love them. These are the Ginger Snap socks by Tabby, and um. I'm using our yarn, hey sister, um, sport sock, sport sock, whatever we called it, and then in the Odie colorway in Smitten, and I'm excited. I want to have these on for Valentine's Day and be like, it'll be my B9 <gasps> Oh, sock that's so nice. Or something. I don't know. Color. Anyway, I want to have them done by Valentine's Day. I really like them. So I'm knitting the second size, I believe, that Tabby, there's two sizes to the pattern, right? Size one and size two. Yep. So I'm knitting the second size on twos, and it's fits on my foot so far so I'm excited um but yeah I really like them I'm sorry I'm trying to look to see if you can see but the little squares on it yeah, so I show mine with yours yeah so I'm doing I'm gonna see comparatively this is a size two also on size twos they look similarly sized right my cuff is short <laughs> this is for my these are for my husband so I'm gonna say that those are his valentine socks they stretch about yeah they stretch about the same I, I did a German twisted cast on I was trying to knit a little loose because um I really don't like it when socks don't yeah. go on well does it stretch? Is my stretch okay, you think? I'm going to hold this. Yes. That will go over your so. foot? It goes over Dave's foot. So. Yeah, I have a big heel. He doesn't have a huge heel, so. But they're mm. like thick calves, so. Yeah. <laughs> so. There's that. really like them. Hopefully they will be done. This is slightly different than the actual pattern because it's so much more. Like, I had to change the pattern to be not so tall. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. You just Tall. shorten the color work section. Yeah, I shorten the color work section because that's pretty long. So, anyway. Okay, about the same as the other one. That's also in our yarn. That's, but this is in Noir and Favorite Tea. I love these colors. I love, this is, oh man. Oh, so I have fun. like so many plans for that color. Seriously, I hope you still knit that sweater. I think it's such a good like Valentine's. I want, I do, I, I have like some stuff over there to look at for it. Just remind me later so you can help me decide. Okay. So I'm going to knit, um, it's a striped sweater. I'm not sure it's between two patterns that I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. So, That'd be so fun. Yeah. I need to decide on that. So. Okay. But with smitten in it. <laughs> yes. Smitten in it. Smitten in it. Okay. Okay. Who's next? You want to go? Well, we both looked kind of oh, together. Okay. So, I guess I could, well, all I really have left is socks. Okay. I was a boring knitter this time and knit, worked on socks because I was trying to get that boring, pattern though. ready. I would love to have more socks. So you have been wearing mine a lot lately. Oh my word, I wore mine so much on vacation. It was so nice. That's awesome. I'm Seriously. so excited about this. Go ahead. Oh, so, I'm so excited. in my woolly bean love that bag. snake plant bag, which I love so much. Anyway, um, I have my newest... Oh, it looks so good in that bag. ...sweater cast on. So, okay, I showed this yarn, I think, last time. This is our Tweed Decay base in our Odie colorway. Put it over on that side of your face. You can get it. That's a pretty accurate color. Um, I really love the color. <laughs> so, Me too, ma'am. Um, it's just going to, like, be the exact same color. It's going to look super cool with, like, a black denim or, like, I think I it's good. Be, I actually want to wear it with this skirt. Oh, it'll look really good with that skirt. Like, really good. The tones yeah. are so good together. This is a nurtured. If 
I didn't say that already, which I didn't. Andrea Mallory. Andrea Mallory. Oh, my sorry. It's okay. It just scared me. Just it didn't get me. Okay, I'm going to hold it here. Let's see. I'm gonna nice texture. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I'm super excited to knit that. I'm so into knitting textured things right now. For sure. I'm excited about it. Um, It was actually really, I mean, it's a textured pattern, but it's really easy to get the hang of. And it's been really fun. It's going to be so cozy. You knit the sleeves first, which I'm almost done with the first one. I have like an inch and a half left. An inch, an inch and a half. So I'm really excited about it. I love it. It's really squishy. I love squishy textured knits I, now. It's like an obsession. Okay, <laughs> so I think the texture looks super squishy. I'm excited to have this to wear. Um, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to say because it's just the sleeve. But it is like a cropped sweater kind of thing if you haven't seen it. I was going to ask how cropped you plan to make it. I plan to make it to the pattern. So. Okay. Because I plan on wearing it with like my gypsum skirts, which I wear very high waisted. So. Well, that's true. And things like that. So I don't, it's not something so I would wear with like. I really want a peachy one. Like. Are you going to make yours long? No. I want a cropped one as well. But um, I just, I mean, we need to come up with a colorway for it. Yeah. I want a peachy, like, I don't know. I don't know. A good color, though. Yeah, a peach yeah. color. So, yeah. I love I love this. It's been really fun to knit. I, but I was saying, um, before camera stopped, but I am knitting DK yarn. This in DK yarn. And I did go down a needle size. So, I'm knitting this on sevens instead of eights. So, because I started with the recommended, and it just looked a little loose. But I like... You went down a needle size. I went down a needle size because I'm using DK instead of worsted and... I did increase, I think I did two extra inc increase rows for the arms because I have, I have large arms comparatively. So, um, I do. It's just, just, it just what it is. Yeah. So, um. It is what it is. I went up, up a couple sizes and this fits over my arms so far. So, nice. really nice. There's nothing worse than, like, no having bigger arms, you have to, like, deal with, like, clothes being too, like, tight on them and then, like, feeling like you can't move. That's the worst. I know. I feel, I've most of my jackets. Because to me, I'm that's still... one of the best parts about making yes. your own clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the fact that, like, the things I made before when I was smaller, <laughs> they are also straight jackets like right now. Like your Kelly? Yeah. Well, I went down a couple sizes on my Kelly, and I shouldn't have, because no. it is like, <gasps> But it's so great that you can just make it to exactly fit you. Like, this, I yeah. can make, I'm making, I think, the medium size, or the third size, um, I think it's a... 44 inch nice. bust um so i'm doing that size and how much is the recommended ease i think it says six inches of ease okay. about i think that's a little more than a little more than six for me but um i'm planning on joining i'm, my I'm happy to too. have lots of ease <laughs> so yeah i'm excited i really like it i'm excited about it too i'm super excited about that i want to do that yeah. but yeah so i just need to make sure i remember to increase the same amount the next week. Two extra? Two extra. Well, I but I, like it'll be fine because I can count the stitches. We'll there you go. Yeah. It won't be a problem. Be but yeah. So how does that work with the sweater? It's just like any other top down or top bottom up sweater. The bottom up. Okay. You're going to get it. I didn't know the sweater was bottom yet. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't know that. But Well, I didn't know that until I started knitting. So yeah. Anyway, I'm excited okay. about it. I want to have that done soon. What should I show next? Whatever you can reach. Do you show your no, These are my favorite. Oh, mine too. Like, I don't know, something about this time of year. Like, I don't know, I love this. I don't know if you can see. You can see. Oh, yeah, you can see. Um, like, the contrast. I love it. I love this. Like, <laughs> muted. You did? No, I almost wanted to. Go I, it, I think it does zoom in, but. I'm going to go try. Okay. Oh, I love it. That's actually pretty accurate. Yes, that's so good. So, this one is knit with Baldwin. And Chanterelle um, in Quince and Co. Chickadee. Um, I bought both of these when I had this design in my mind. So um, sometimes, I don't know, I feel bad not knitting with our yarn sometimes. And I just, I don't know, I love yarn. Yes. Of all kinds. So anyways, I love this. I'm going to be super excited to have this pair of socks. Now this one I did a size one, which is the smaller size of sock. But I knit the color work with a size three needle instead of a size two. And I think it turned out really well. Yeah. Um, I think it's just going to be dependent on people's gauge. But For people sure. are probably used to having to, to do that as well. But all the ones I've done okay have worked out okay. So oh, I love these. They're ah, so pretty. I do too. I love it so much. Those colors, like those, mm, I love it. So good. I love it so much. It's cheering me up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Yeah. And I'm going to show this one since I'm in here, but I may have showed this last time. I don't know. I like sad. I just ripped a whole bunch of it off too. My sad, sad progress on these socks. <laughs> They're like all like, oh, I wanted to put a picture up of the wreath I knit, mom. Oh my word! For okay. sure, we'll have to take a picture of that. Or you have a picture of that one. She knit, mom, this beautiful garland. Um, it's like wreaths and like you just did the wreaths, right? Yeah, I just did the wreaths, and they're so cute. They're so cute. I love them. I will link that pattern below because it is the cutest little like ornament. I think she did, and she made an ornament. We had an ornament exchange party with some friends, and. I had it, but someone stole it from me. So I was really upset. I stole it from someone else, but I'll knit you one one day. I can probably knit it. But... It's actually really fun. Um, it's yeah, anyway. it's so good though, you guys. She made it out of Smitten, the red one. It was a red one that I had. Yes, that someone stole from me. Then... Not legitimately stole from me. It was at a like gift exchange party. So. Sorry, <laughs> that came across badly. <laughs> but it was it was really fun, and I really enjoyed knitting them. They didn't you take like three or four of them. Four. That's awesome. So yeah. They were so cute, and oh, it looks so cute. My mom has it hanging in her window. You never showed them socks, did you? Because I interrupted you, I think. Oh, I ripped all the stitches off. Anyways, oh. I was waiting for Henry's sock, and I made a big hole in it, so I'm going to have to fix that later. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. It's okay. I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not forgot about the sock, Mom. Didn't forget about knitting your sock. <laughs> okay, so here's my next whip. I, you guys, I love this so much, and I really want to wear it. I'm almost done with the body. Um... This is my no frill sweater by Petite Knit, and it's knit in our, oh, I love this. It's knit in our pure and fluff colorways. I mean, bases mm -hmm. in the latte colorway. Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, so good. I love it so much, and I don't know. I'm really happy with it so far. I haven't put it on. It's oh, you have it? pretty oversized. It's definitely more oversized than mine. I think it's the yeah, same size. I think it's going to be exactly the same size as yours, which is really funny. We always knit different sizes of things. And with different needle sizes and stuff, and like and we it's all, not good because I'm, I'm they turn out the same. Size. I usually want them to be bigger. <laughs> it's so uh, funny, and I want mine to be smaller. So I don't know. Like, anyways, I think it's gonna be really comfy. You usually end up working, and it's gonna. It's a little bit. I actually knit it. I think a half inch shorter than than it calls for, but that's because I am short, and um, I want to wear it with high waisted stuff, and I don't want to look like I'm like swimming in it. So. Yeah, it's. Really it should, I think it's gonna be just oversized enough oh, it's to perfect. be. I, mean, yeah. I will be very jealous. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to run out of yarn, but I'll have to just have to dye another fluff. Initially, when I dyed the, we dyed these sweaters up, I two of my fluffs came out like identical, and then the third mohair skin yeah, was, was like so weird because it they was were like dyed the pink. Time. Yeah, I dyed them all together. It was so, and then it's never happened again. It's never happened again with this colorway. So yeah. I'm not sure what the deal was. If it was just like a fluke, or if I used the wrong pan or something, I don't know. So, anyway, yeah. I'm good. super excited about that. That's okay. something I want to have soon. I think I have one more thing to show for knitting, and that's it. I don't know if I have anything else to show. Okay, I can officially show this because I worked two rows on this, guys. Yeah. This is my Bronwyn. Oh, I'm so excited about it. And that. I love it so much. Do you think I should knit yes. a Bronwyn with petal? Yeah. I have all that petal. No, that's what I said. I thought we, no, we didn't talk about that before. But yes, you should. That'd be really cool, right? That'd be beautiful. I don't want, really want one out of wood smoke, but I can knit anything out of wood smoke. I want, I want one out of I don't have any wood smoke, and I have a whole cabinet full oh, of petals. guys, look at this. I'm sorry. That's I knit so this good. last year. I started this last, I think, New Year's January. Eve yeah. or something like that. So I knit this in, like, a couple weeks this much, except for the last two rows, because I knit the last two rows. It's so beautiful. Over the break. But I am determined to finish this soon, because I love it so much. It's the perfect sweater I feel like for this it's time just of like, year. It's just like perfect traditional, like, I don't know. I love it. The cables are beautiful, and it's fun to knit. It's not hard to knit. The cap the charts are very straightforward, and the cables are not difficult. Easy to memorize, right? Yes. And it's like, anyway, I'm actually pretty close to finishing the body. I think, I mean, I have like a few more inches, but um, I'm really, really excited about this. I want to finish it and wear it. I feel like this color, it's postcard from Brooklyn Tweed. And it's so like the good. perfect color for this time of year. I always tend to stop wanting to wear the really dark. I know, me too. And I always time. think I won't, but I do. I, I do too. To. So, um, yeah, I really want to have this to wear this winter. So that's that. And like I said, I knit two rows on it, but that's because I didn't have my cable needle. I was working on my um, mittens and it was not with me then. So I will be working more on that. It's so good. I'm excited. So I really want a brown one. Brown one. And I could I also do it on a fossil. That'd be really pretty. 
Ooh. A fossil one? Oh, my God. It, we could, like, replace no, this. No, because this is, like, an old American Eagle sweater I got. We like, were always, like... Literally got this, like, ten years ago, I think. It was, like, seven or eight years ago, at least. I was always so jealous of that. Because I got it before Zoe was born. <laughs> I thought it before Avery was born. Maybe it was before Avery was born. I don't know. I'm getting so confused, back. you guys. Like, maybe that one was. year. You that year here. I moved back. For some reason, I was thinking it was before you left, but it was maybe right when you got back. I think it was, back. like, right before you, like, So, okay, four eight. years. Yeah. Four years ago, I bought this. Okay. It was before I was pregnant with Avery. Right after we, yeah. Like, that, I bought a bunch of really good Which is still there. five years five ago. Five years, and it's, like, it's not, like, nice yarn, but it's, and it's pilly, but. It's no. actually like it's I've super comfy. I've always been super it. jealous of that. I would like to have like a replacement for it. It was actually handmade. Maybe I should just knit exactly this sweater. You could. That'd be pretty easy. Yeah. This has beads though. I would not put beads on no. it. No. Thankfully, they're not really super obvious beads. Yeah. I'm not really into the whole beaded sweater thing. <laughs> if it's a thing, I don't even know if it's a thing. Um, I don't think I have any more knitting to show. Just this. I don't either, so we don't really care. Oh, that's not about true. I cast on this sock. Yeah, you did. Oh, you look This is so a new pretty. design. A cable design. But I don't have it, like, there's no cables yet. It's just a ribbing. You see? <laughs> Spoilers. But this is in Tiger's Eye, which is one of my favorite colors. Love it. Love Tiger's Eye. Me too. I'm planning a big project in Tiger's Eye. Mm. Probably my one of my next cast ons will be that. Because I want to have it. Right my now? kimono. Oh, yeah, I did. My fringe that. kimono. It's going to be so um, good. Okay. I think that's all my knitting, honestly. That's all mine, too. I didn't bring any sewing to show, either. But you have some. So I only have a couple. I made my Nico top, which I love. Do you have um, oh, other stuff to show? Yes. Oh, I've got your... You want me to go get your, um, your, your coat? Your coat again? Okay, so I have a little bit of sewing. I You can't see this, either, but it's on Instagram, so it doesn't matter. This is my Kyoto Tea by Paper Cut Patterns. And this is out of a cloud knit, fabric sweater knit from Blackbird, and it's the softest, most wonderful feeling fabric, I think, but I love it, but um, there's a picture of it on my Instagram, if you're interested but in seeing that better, yep, oh dude, I do love that, that's what I made my Nico top out of, and it is so comfortable and cozy and wonderful, so my Kyoto tea was one of my first, I really was like making my make nine, um, I do, I do a sewing and a knitting one um, for mm -hmm. the year, and I was trying to make my sewing one and I just couldn't figure out like what to put on it because I had so many projects that I had ready to go or barely started and I just could not like figure it out. So I finally like got up, stopped planning and I just went and like sewed for like five days and I made a bunch you of stuff, so much stuff and it made me feel so good. So I'm going to say, show these, but I'm going to try to take really good pictures of them mm -hmm. like soon. Okay. Like even if you just want to hold them up and yeah. I'll take pictures of them. The next time we're together. I mean, that's a great idea. Anyway, okay, this is really hard to see, guys. But this is my Fulton sweater blazer. You can see by the top, at least. Alina there. Design Co. I love her. She's so sweet. She is sweet, and she has really cool patterns. I made her Hampton jean jacket. Yeah. I love that. That thing is so awesome. It is awesome. I can't wait till, like, springtime to be able to wear it. It's too cold right oh, now. Oh, my word. That'll be perfect. But, yes, this is out of a boiled wool and viscose from Blackbird Fabric. We're like Blackbird fa fa we are Black Fabric junkies. Fabric junkies. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's bad. Okay. Um, she just has, like, such a good selection. And yeah. And she's it's just easy to look there because you don't have to worry about, like, I don't know if this is good quality fabric. Exactly. She or, does all that, like, legwork for you. Like, yeah. She'll tell you, like, what it's good for and, like, just stuff that we don't have time to think about because we're so busy. Yeah. And so it's kind of, I just know I can trust her. And so. And she has good sales. Really, really good. Yeah. She has a good bit of sales. And I but, like, snagged some stuff from her Boxing Day sale. And it was really awesome. Because kind of uh, my mother-in-law got me a gift card for Christmas to Blackbird. I was like losing my mind. I was so excited. <laughs> that is very, very exciting. So yeah. This is, um, it's hard to show, but we'll, we'll try to take a picture of it. Um, and it's nice. Boiled wool is cool. You don't have to like finish the ends, which I didn't because... My serger thread would have, like, been more noticeable. Oh, no. Yeah. So, because it's, like, when I went to buy my serger thread, when I first got it, they only had two white, and then they had, like, two tans, so I bought one of each. So, it's, like, a marled serger effect, <laughs> serger which I could effect. totally buy two more, um, like, white ones. white ones, if I would ever think of that when I'm at the store. Which yeah, but who thinks about that? I When never. you're at Walmart, I've, like, and you got, like, never two little kids that are, like... Not wanting to be at the And store. I've had that surgery for over a year now, at least. Yep. So, yeah. Fulton Sweater Blazer. Really, really like it. Um, it's a nice, like, jacket coat again. And it's comfy <laughs> arms, right? Yes. I, um, I made, I don't remember what size I made. I think I made an eight. 
I usually make an eight or a 10. I know I made an eight in the um, Nico top. Um, I think it was an eight, but I really like it. And it, it was kind of unique, seriously. And I like the boil rule. So good. Did you bring your, uh, oh, you already shared your Kyoto. Oh, yes, and I also made a kimono, but it was needing to be washed and I didn't want to bring it. This, the fabric kind of like, it's so comfy though. I will try to also maybe get a picture of that. So mm -hmm. if not, we'll show them on Instagram in the near future. But I made mm -hmm. a Suki kimono by Helen's Closet. Love that pattern love too. That pattern, all of her patterns. I wear my Suki kimono probably every day. It's my most worn made item just because, you know, I'm at home every day. So yeah. I wear it pretty much when I'm at home. I'm so. so glad I finally made it because I feel like I almost, I'm determined this year to make things like that in pajamas for things I'll actually wear. Yeah. Like I said, on the, oh, I didn't bring my everything. pajamas. I would show them, but they're like, they're in my suitcase still oh, all wrinkled up. I made I, my, I haven't even seen them. I made my Caroline oh, pajamas, yeah. my closet case patterns for Christmas. And I was so excited because I cut them out over two years ago before I was even pregnant with Henry. And, um, yeah, then I got pregnant and I did not want to make, uh, well, they were already cut out, so I didn't, you, you were thinking of something? My phone. I was going to get it. Oh my, it scared me. Um, cause I didn't know it was like a bug or something. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I love my Carolyn pajamas. I'm going to definitely make quite a few more pairs of those for sure, because they're so comfy and easy and well, not actually super easy. I did the piping though, which took tons of extra time. I definitely want to make them this year though. They're on my make nine. And they were on my make it. my make nine last year, so I got at least one in there. <laughs> my Suki kimono was on my make nine last year and this year, so that's done. I've finished two things. I can't remember what else was on. My Nico is on my make nine, so I've already made two of my make nine this year. I definitely, I, I think my make nine is pretty like representative. Like I, I tend to make something either either that pattern or something yeah. similar to it to like replace it. So, because I change my mind on patterns all the time, it's bad. Oh no, it's, it's not bad. Crazy. Oh, it's okay though. I don't care about. Okay. I but, did get a little stash yeah. on this show. Or did you have another thing to show? No. Okay, you can't actually even see it now because it's dark, but it looks more like... Anyways, I'm going to cast on soon. Hopefully today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But I'm going to cast on a sweater for Henry for his birthday. I'm going to do the waiting for Henry um, motif thing. But I've been waiting on this. Um, it's Shelter in Almanac. It's a dark blue. It's actually kind of bright in person. It's a nice color. It's a really good color. But um, anyways, I'm going to do it with Noir and... Snowbound. This is going to be the main color. And I'm excited about that because he could use a sweater. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it for him for his birthday. Oh, so. He's so cute. Waiting for so Henry's so sweater cute. for his birthday. I know it's crazy. He's his birthday's be... in like a month. He's been walking so much. He's so adorable. Oh, yeah. He only walks now. It's crazy. Anyway, it is crazy. It is. And I got this pile of fabric from Blackbird with my gift card for Christmas. And I'm so excited to knit up some t shirts. Knit up. So, some t shirts with these. These are so nice. This is, so, is this the bamboo? the bamboo jersey. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. And then I got the rib knit, which is what Rachel's wearing. But it's in it's in Merlot. Love that. It's like a nice burgundy. And I got a black denim to make a skirt. Oh, these are really good. I'm going to make this salad a skirt. How do you say that? Solita. Solita skirt? Let's go with Solita? that. Solita sounds better. I'm going to say that It's really cool. I'm going to make this Solita it. skirt with my black it. denim. It's just oh, plain no. black denim. Yeah, it's different. It almost looks mine. like a twill. Yeah. But that's what I wanted. I knew that when I bought it, so... Hopefully it won't look too weird. I don't know. See, that's I what the main looks side weird. looks like. It looks like denim. For sure. It anyway. looks really cool. Yeah, so I got that to make a skirt. I'm going to make a high-waisted skirt with it. So maybe not a, maybe not that pattern. I don't remember how high-waisted it was. But I wanted to go with some of my knitted sweaters. So. Yes. But yeah, I love being able to sew in it. I know we talk about this a lot, but being able to, like, mix sewing with knitting it makes a huge difference it makes such like like the outfit i'm wearing today it makes me feel really cool because i'm wearing a knitted sweater over some you outfit. made it all it's really cool. i know it makes you feel good i wore my knitted stuff a lot in michigan and that's um well they're all dirty now we were on vacation and everybody was sick it was scary like not actually scary but it was Rough. it was good we were on vacation because it was like you kind of could just like focus yeah. on getting better. We all had better. horrible colds. The like babies had horrible colds. Anyways, yeah, we all had an awful cold, and um, it was really great to be up there. Though my sister in law had her twins, oh, and they are so word. beautiful so and precious. tiny, and like I mean, they were pretty big for twins. I think they were um, one was six pounds, fifteen ounces, so that's almost seven pounds, <laughs> and the other one was like seven nine or something. So they were both bigger than my last baby. So. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and she man. Just amazing to me. That's so amazing. She got them all the way to 38 weeks, and it was really special because the babies were born on the anniversary of my father-in-law passing. So it was like, you know, it was a really sad day. And then 
they got to have something happy happen, you know, on the same day, a couple years later. So, um, it was really, it was nice how they, how that worked out. Like she didn't even ask for it. They just like scheduled her C-section that day. So it's special. yeah. So that's all for knitting, right? I think so. Um, we are going to do some shop talk. Yeah. And then we'll talk about plans. And plans for the year. Yeah. So, hey sister. We're what? moving. We're moving. We're excited. <laughs> so excited. It's ridiculous. We talked about last time how our dye studio is just not working out. And um, it's been a, a pretty big hindrance. So I'm hoping that um, having a new space with more space and power. So space. much more power. We... <laughs> took our burners and made sure we could run everything. We can run so much. We can run so much more. We're um, so excited. Yeah, we're very, very, very excited. So. It's going to be awesome. We can, like, run more on one wall than we can run in our whole dye studio at the other place. So we're very excited about that. And just excited to – I'm not really looking forward to moving. No. But – After that, though, it's going to be awesome. Like, yeah. the whole moving process is never fun. But – Exactly. <laughs> getting there will be great, and it's such a big – change for the better that it's so worth it for yeah, sure so. for sure we're excited um so yeah and uh other news for the shop we're gonna change we are changing some things we're implementing yeah. some new things and um we're on a trial basis anyways right now we're going to have our core colorways which is like you know our typical the colorways that we think we think of them as like our our colorways like yeah. the ones that are that we've had around for a while. Um, we're going to have them up on a die to order basis. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is something mm -hmm. we've wanted to do for a long time. Yeah, we have a lot of people contacting us and trying to get um, custom orders and stuff. And this should be the easiest way to get, like, if you want a sweater quantity, um, you don't have to wait for a sweater quantity update or, you know, whatever. Or just even worry about waiting for an update because I know yeah. a lot of people either don't miss the newsletter or aren't on Instagram all the time. Exactly. So. But um, we're going to try to have a two-week turnaround time is what we're thinking will work for that. And um, so like you order two weeks later, your yarn will have already shipped. So um, that's what we're going for now. We'll see how it goes. We may have to change the specifics yeah, at some point. Cause but, I mean, yeah, please be patient. Yeah, please be patient with us. With we're that, we're gonna try to make it work, so. Yeah, to me that's like, that's what I want when I go to buy yarn from people, you know. I want to be able to pick what, what I want, so. Without having to be like pressured into rushing, like. Yeah. You know. I know some people are messaging us on like Instagram saying how frustrating it is to not be able to get the yarn and um, I totally understand that too. We want to so. make it as accessible, yeah. you know, obviously we can, we can only do so much, but we want to do as much as we can. So, yeah. and so we're going to see how that works out. Hopefully it'll be good. And then we also started a rewards program yes. on our website. What is it called? It's such a good it's name. It's called Stitch Perks. Stitch Perks. That's what it's it. called. It's like at the bottom yes. corner of our screen. So sign up. You get... Yeah, Wait. if you sign up for that, we've already had people sign up for it. Oh, really? We didn't even talk so about cool. it. Yeah, like three or four people. Um, anyway, uh, it basically tips. works out to where if you have, we had to do it like a little complicated so it can track it so we don't have to do it personally. But if you buy 10 skeins of yarn, you get one free basically is what it works up to. So it's like if you spend $300, you get a $30 reward or whatever to spend. That's so. really fun. I love rewards. Yeah. So I love getting I love rewards too. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I'm like anyway. Yes, we're almost done. Um is it still recording? Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. yeah. Anything else? Um that's like different for the shop. Um should we talk about the we should talk about the Clothia. We're so excited about We this. wanted to do this for months. Yeah. So we've actually been planning it for like I think we talked about it before we moved into the dye studio that so we too. wanted to do it. Yes. Anyways, we're doing a Princess Bride Club. Yes. And we both love Princess Bride, uh, the movie. And um, it's really kind of like a like, part of our childhood. Yeah, it's sure. a big part of our childhood. And then, like, I don't know, we, it's something that somehow always comes up, like, with other people, my husband. Anyways. Yeah. It's just Neither funny. of our husbands had seen it before we got married. So it's like, I don't know, my kids love it. And we love the Princess Bride. We're going to do um, a club. Six month or a three month. We're gonna do it for six months. So you can either do the three month or the six month option. Anyway, so we have um, we're going we're planning to um, have the colorways available in the months that we actually release them. But um, there's gonna be exclusives if you have the club, and um, like an exclusive bonus item um, could be like more yarn or um, we have some really fun things in the works as far as like extras go. 
And um, anyways, it'll be like on theme or whatever, but um, sorry, I have to text Dave real quick. So he'll stop texting me. Yeah. Any questions? Um, yeah, we have a lot of questions. I was ah, just checking. Cool. So, all right. Um, but yeah, no, we're excited about the, um, yeah, a lot of new stuff for the shop this year. We're really excited to get in the new space and yeah, I'm excited to take you on the journey. <laughs> we're super excited. We'll have to like film some stuff next time we get to go see our dice. I would love to do a little vlogging. I really like, think we should. We've, we've tried a couple times, like we think we said last time, but. I feel like if we did try to vlog, it would keep us more accountable as far as like not letting everything just get trashed. Crazy. Yes. I think so too. And I think that needs to be, like I think it would be good. So we might try to do some of that. Let us know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. For sure. But um, yeah, so we did ask on, are we, should we do some questions? Yeah, let's do okay. some. Oh, I did want to say about the club real yeah. quick though. So for the Princess Bride Club, um, which we've called As You Wish, um, has... You have to buy the club if you want it, and the shipping. It's going to be separate because um, we have to month, ship it. Yeah. yeah, we have to ship it every month. So, um, also, if you want a club and you want to combine your shipping, like if you want to wait until, like if you're, if it's like an overseas thing, I was just thinking about this. Um, if you don't think it's a good idea, we cannot do no, it. Why? But if they're overseas and they want to, if they'd prefer to wait like the three months and then have it shipped. Oh, that's true. So that way they're only having, because it's not going to increase the price much at all to ship three skeins over that's one a, skein. That's a good idea, yeah. So if that's something that you're interested in, we may set up that option as well for overseas people. Because, I mean, U.S. base is not going to be much to ship it three times or six times or whatever, right. like, comparably. But to spend, to spend $22 every month to have it shipped overseas doesn't make any sense. Right. So if you want to do that, we can... Set up a listing where it's just for people international, um, for international people, and it will be, it just will be held the three months. Like, you can still see the pictures and stuff, but, yeah. yeah I don't know. So it's a, it's a, I think it's that's a good option, for sure, for people, because shipping is never fun to pay, but, I mean, we obviously all understand. It's also not super pay. fun to wait that long, so I understand if that's not something what, that international people want to do, but it's better than paying all that shipping. I, yeah, if, they, if they're really wanting it, I think that's a good option, for sure. Yeah. That's fun. But yeah, we're really excited about the club. We've already been brainstorming ideas, names, and little <laughs> extras uh, for sure. So yeah. we're we're really, um, it's just been something we've been thinking about for forever. So we hope you guys love it too. We're I very, have some really good colorway ideas. I'm super so excited to get dying. It's been so long. So long. Anyways, so Rachel, we, uh, we asked if anybody had questions yes. on Instagram, and she's going to read some of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Best textured sock okay, patterns. Okay, yeah, go. Um, let's see. <laughs> I love mine, but that's just like, it's not even out yet. <laughs> it's a really good But one. that's, I understand wanting a good te textured sock. Let's see. Let's see. Ones I've knit. I've knit Hermione's and Blueberry Waffles, which I like. I like the Blueberry Waffles. That's, I, I, I enjoy the fit on that one a lot. Like, I made that for my mother-in-law. It's a, The Blueberry Waffles is a pattern that's nice to make if you don't really have the person's foot nearby. Because they really stretch, but also stay snug, so it's really nice. I do actually like my Hermione's. I didn't think I'd ever knit another did you pair. Did you waffles? Yep. I wore them yesterday. I believe you. What color They're, did you do? I did them out of my Jinx yarn. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. The orange one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember what it was called, but yeah. I did those, and I do enjoy those a lot, so... Oh, someone said they're just happy that we're podcasting with some of Um... Oh, somebody says, y'all changed look. Oh, that reminds me. We did pick winners for our, yes. um, for the ugly Christmas sweater sock pattern. Yes. And I mean, for the knit along, we just like literally have been going nonstop. And for the last like I said, she was out of town for vacation and. I feel awful. But no, it's okay. I, th I think everyone understands. We do have the winners so. though. And we have the prizes and they're all ready to go. We've... Okay. Anyways, we're going to announce it on Instagram probably tomorrow. Oh. The... Yes. Sorry. Go ahead. You're great. I'm done. Okay. Any plans to turn your studio into a storefront or otherwise expand? No, for that. Not um, right now. Definitely not where we're going to be or are. So definitely not. But we are um, wanting to expand just our production for sure. Yeah, for Moving sure. Moving into the new dye studio, that kind of thing. Oh, wait, did we even answer the other question? What did she was say? It? She asked about our location. Oh, it was Annie, oh, right? Yeah. Y'all changed locations for the studio. Did I miss the story behind it somewhere? Oh, um, we talked about that already a little bit here, but yeah. yeah. Um, it was, we were having a lot of issues with our other place, and um, 
we found another place. <laughs> so very comparable pricing, but a lot more of what we need. So oh, someone asked about the Princess Bride Club, and it'll be up in the shop, hopefully by this. Yay. Wait, will that take a while to figure out? I don't think it should. Okay. I just need to figure out the pricing because it's going to be crazy expensive to ship three times to yeah. international. So so we'll have we'll have hopefully by the time this goes up, it'll be. Ah, uh, yeah. Ready so in the shop. for the Princess Bride Shop, uh, Princess Bride Club. Um, it equals out to around forty dollars a month for the, and you get at least hundred grams of yarn. You get, um, pos and then you get an extra, and then um, also because we're releasing new colorways every month, um, you can you get a five percent discount if you want to buy more of it. Like if you like your colorway and you want it like a sweater quantity or something of it, you can get that at a discount. So yeah, that's part of why we're doing that. So um, yeah, the shipping options will be up soon. So this one is: Have you guys thought about doing any trunk shows? And we yes, a little bit. Wait, for okay. sure. is a trunk show the same as like Vending? selling your yarn? No, we I don't are... think it's the same. Ooh. But go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. 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 No, no. You're okay. I just don't want to talk over you, so I keep stopping. I know, right? well, I know. It's so annoying to to edit the podcast when we talk over each other, and we do that a lot. It's a bad, but that's just like how we are. It's really hard to turn that off. So, but yeah, not exactly a trunk show, but we are wanting to. Yeah, we're wanting to go to. I think it's Waynesboro Sheep and Wool mm -hmm. this year. It was our first like we yarn the place that we went to and we would love to get Dave's gonna try to figure out how we can get in there this this I think it's in week. May. It's in May usually or the end of April maybe. May, May I think I think it's in May. I think it's in May. I was in Michigan last time. Um anyway, we're gonna really try to get in there and like sell some yarn. It'll be super fun. So I don't know. When do you guys sleep? You get so much done with kids and life, and it's amazing. <laughs> well, I don't sleep most of the time. Well, that's just mostly because my daughter doesn't sleep. I've been ever, mostly but... nocturnal lately because I've been kept up at nights, and then I sleep a lot on vacation during the day. It worked out nicely, though, because kids were sick. I would stay up and make sure they were breathing, <laughs> and then Dave would take over in the mornings and that's my, crazy my sleep schedule is like really off like literally I didn't go to bed till after six in the morning like not half the time but okay at well, least five or six this times. is a good question are you I think this is mainly for you are you going to be creating any sweater patterns oh first part I do have a lot of sweater patterns it's like almost like a um like I've never had a fear of like knitting anything or sewing anything like I don't get that like hesitation with those things like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like I would just jump right into cables and lace and um, in the round and, you know, all the stuff that, and socks. Brioche. Brioche, yeah. None of that has ever scared me. I don't know. I had this, like, thing about maybe it's because other people are going to have to, like, follow my instructions. Like, I had this thing with I can knit sweaters and I can knit shawls, but I am, like, terrified to release patterns on them. I don't know why. I've got Rachel's beautiful shawl just sitting there that I need to write the pattern up for. And I'm probably just going to give it to her and... I, you should just take it. <laughs> you should you should write it up. I should write it up. I just am, like, terrified for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. But, yeah, I am going to knit Henry a Waiting for Henry sweater. And if that works up, I'm going to make a baby. I mean, a kid's sweater pattern. That'd so, be awesome. Yeah. Oh, she also asked, how do we get your yarn updates? Which now, the dye to order hopefully will help with that because... Our plan is to leave that up all the time. Yes. And it's on our typical basis. Um, if we don't have access to a certain base, it will not be listed. So... Yeah. Um, it's going to make things a lot easier for us as far as like knowing how many, how much yarn to buy and stuff if we do it this way. So, and if you have any questions, please contact us or like leave a comment or something. If you have any questions about that for yeah. sure as well. Let's see. Most um, of our colorways are in there. I did. There are certain colorways we don't dye on certain bases and I did not put them on there, but someone asked when your sock pattern will be released. Did you talk about I'm that today? I'm planning to release that February 1st. That's my goal. I got two weeks. And my knitters all assure me that they can, uh, I love test knitters. You guys are just awesome. Seriously. Test knitters are awesome. And I could not do it without, and Rachel too, because yeah. she test knits me. Yeah. I, I thought I was included I in feel that. so bad, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you were, you're my bestest test knitter. <laughs> can I get a, can I get a, like a badge or something? Yes. I will make you a badge. <laughs> Best test knitter. Yes. <laughs> Poor Rachel, she always, I feel so bad because she's like my early test knitter. <laughs> so I don't ever force her to knit the patterns. Nope, I've never been forced. I, I went to knit all of her patterns, which makes me irritated sometimes. She gets mad at me. Like, like come on, I don't want to start another sock. <laughs> but, but now I have to because I want this sock. But she gets like the early, early instructions where I'm like, just do this and this and this, and it's not anything written down. So 
Usually yeah. it's pretty good. Sometimes I'm like, so what's the next step? <laughs> that was, I think, the, oh, well. uh, that was, yeah, that was for the mystery. Yeah, so that was, that was supposed to be like that. But, um, <laughs> let's see. Someone asked about sewing plans and our make nine plans. I'm super excited about really making. excited. Yeah. I don't, we already talked about it a little bit. So, but yeah, I am, I have a lot of stuff on there. And the problem is, is that people keep releasing cooler and cooler patterns. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know. But it's I, hard for me to commit. I think so too, but it's okay. Like, I feel like last year I only knit one of my make nines. I only finished one of them, which was my wow. weekender. I Me too. started two more, which is my Bronwyn and my knitting. Last no, year I one did of like my a, of socks. a combined one, like knitting and yeah. sewing. Yeah. And um, I made similar things. I didn't make a backpack because I ended up buying a backpack because um, I needed one, like, right now. And then, but I did, like, representative like stuff like that's fine. I think that counts though yeah, for I me that so. counts I don't know that's if how I'm thinking about actual, it going like, into it so rules for this or not but um for yeah. me that's how it is for me and like it also I really like it even if the fact that I didn't necessarily knit a lot of the things I planned on last year or it's true because you can so, kind of see how your tastes have changed you can like, see how your tastes change and what you really want that's true like, like so even if it's something you're not going to continue or like I don't look at it as a failure by any means. True. I just look at it, okay, well, that helps me understand what I want. So yeah. this year, I feel like I'm actually going to make a lot more of the things because I, I always, feel like I can kind of understand what I want more. But it's true. I always kind of feel too like I don't put like the more boring, but what I can it's not actually boring, but the stuff I consider to be more boring, I don't really put it on there. Like I'm not going to put a t shirt on my make nine, but that's really what I need, you know, yeah. like I need a bunch of t shirts and. You know, that's kind of what happened last year. I just made a bunch of stuff that I actually needed. I only put, like, big projects on there. So, I don't know. I have a lot of stuff that I want to want to make still, so. Yeah. And I think I tried more this year more to, like, for the sewing at least, to do things that I actually really needed. Job. Yeah. Because, like, like with my Nico top, like, it took me one night to sew this. Like, it was Literally, so quick. Literally, it's so quick. But I wanted to put on there so I would actually do it. And then, like. And, and then you get that early satisfaction, yeah, too. exactly. Like, so. Anything else? There's a few more questions. Um, sure I didn't do these in order, so we're trying to like skip around. Go down here. What is your most worn knitted item you have made? Oh, that's tough. Knitted. Um, honestly, it's probably my gable cap. Oh yeah. I wear that thing like all the time. Or or my um, Fedra. Is that what it's called? Fedra. Yeah. My Fedra hat. I wear hats a lot. Like, but I also have a lot of shawls. I wear my um, Freya Frost shawl. I wear that yeah. a lot. Um. I, t I think for me it would be, I wear my Tanya a lot, my Weekender a lot. I wear I wore my Weekender a bit, but for the last week, month, that's all. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think Probably my gable cap. I wear it every day when I go places. I do, I do wear that one a lot, for sure. I don't want to do my hair. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> it's nice because the color is just super neutral. Also, matches everything. my gable cap looks so good with my Fulton sweater blazer. Oh, I look bet. so cozy and like wintery in my white and my like I light. I love the color of your anyway, hat. It makes me really happy. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about blocking? I've done the classic wet blocking and I feel like my garments... Can you not see it? Hmm. Mm. I do wet block almost everything. Yeah, me too. Um, I don't think I've ever not blocked. We have, ever, besides half, what we try to do for blocking at our dye studio. We have a spin dryer, and it is, it cuts down the drying time like so much. Yes. And really, once you run it through that, you can kind of see it's so easy to get it to the right size and stuff. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the question is here because it cut off a bunch of it, but yeah. I don't block like socks and hats before I wear them, but. I do when I wash them, so. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I've ever blocked a hat. No, I did. I did. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Um, or do we need to go? Anything. What are you watching at the moment? Not much. I'm watching Rachel and I on this little screen. <laughs> really? I've just been watching, like, random stuff on YouTube. Yeah. I haven't I, been watching, I've like, been watching anything. a lot of Skillshare, <laughs> which is, I mean, I'm sure most of you know what Skillshare is. It's like a platform where you can like learn and stuff so that's what I do in my free time um oh Anna anyway yeah so that's really all I've been watching lately tutorials on like illustrator man I learned illustrator like four years ago it's changed so much it's like I've everything's different now and it's just anyway sorry yeah, that's gonna be frustrating for different sure. different problems though but yeah um I'm also learning to draw so I 
like to watch tutorials on that. I haven't actually, I just watched them. I haven't actually tried to draw anything. <laughs> so bad. What's your favorite yarn besides your own? Brooklyn Tweed. Mm, Brooklyn Tweed. Or I do have some hardcore love for Quince Co. as well. Oh, that's true. Uh, me too. I have like a bin of Quince Co. and a bin of... Those and are the yarns really that different. I feel like I can't really replace. Exactly. With our yarn. I can replace pretty much everything else with our yarn. You know, and I can make it exactly the color I want. So that's nice. But like... Yeah, Brooklyn Tweed for sure. I'm gonna go with Brooklyn Tweed. Yeah, because Arbor. Yeah. Although I do love Quince and Co. I love oh, Lark and Chickadee so much. For sure, I think both of those are like irreplaceable. It's like a similar type of thing. But yeah. Yeah. And what inspires your own color palette? Ooh. I don't know if we have like any inspiration. It's more like just like thinking, really, really thinking about what yes. we want, which is probably bad that we spend so much time thinking about it. Does what we want? It does hinder the making sometimes, but. Also, I feel like it's better to take that time than to make something you're not going to wear. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, we really over we're overthinkers in general about everything, which does not always go well. Like, but <sighs> definitely not in yarn. I in like stuff. I feel like it's helped us to actually enjoy the things we make. So For sure. We just really overthink everything and we, look at a lot of Pinterest. We've, we've gotten a lot better with our colors towards easier lately. Like the it's last really few funny. Years. We kind of broke apart. Like we, I went one way and she went the other way in colors, Style. and like we're like right back at the yeah. middle. <laughs> it's okay. It's supposed to be this way. Yeah, it's good. It's how it should have always been. I don't know. I can't really. I know see. we 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 jumped over. Eyesight. My eyes yeah. hurt. Anyways, so that's like yeah. Is there anything else we need to talk fun. about? It was fun. We can always answer these on Instagram too yeah. if we didn't get around to them. So, um, yeah. Okay. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else we have to talk about. I don't think so either. I think we're pretty good. No one's like screaming their head off in the back. Yeah. They all seem to be living. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna post the winners for the. And also, guys, we are like right at ten thousand on Instagram, so we're gonna have like a big old giveaway once we get to ten thousand. Um, I'm very excited about I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Maybe it'll just be a fast giveaway. I don't know, but I'm. We have to like do something for 10,000. Yeah, 000. it might just so. be like. But like, really, we're so excited about that on Instagram. Yeah. So, and we have some more fun stuff we're working on in the shop, and we will keep you guys updated when we have more news about yeah. that kind of stuff. And hopefully, so. we'll have some time to get some making done this next few. Yes, weeks. and we'll uh, try to get you guys to look at our new shop. It's not like the prettiest place, but it's so much more practical. <laughs> so, okay, I'm very excited. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, it was fun to be on here and talk to you guys, and um, I'm glad to be back from vacation, even though we had a great time there. So, glad to be getting back into everything. So. We'll try to be, you know, I'm going to try to be more active on Instagram and stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can find us on Instagram and Ravelry again, and um, we will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye. I just don't like know. totally had her. I just like looked just, at you and you were like laughing at me in your no, eyes. No, I was thinking about what I was going to say about my gloves. I got you. Go and ahead. yeah, it wasn't even funny, so I don't know, but that's what I was thinking about. So that's okay. Sorry. Yeah, I think they're super like this is black, wintery like and nice. Oh my. Sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry. Cut that I out. can't. Sorry, say what you were saying again. I did not mean for that to be in there. No, please. Let's try not to cut each other off this time. It was so bad. It was a Susan B. Anthony, um, like, garland pattern. Did I say that? You did. Crap. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony. I'm so good. Oh. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony pattern. You know, oh, the good old no. Susan B. Anthony pattern. This is great old pattern. <laughs> you guys, like, at first I was like, wait, no, what? I didn't say that. You did. Oh, I believe it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I really gotta stop being so giggly. No, it's good. It's good. Go for it. Embrace it. It's better than crying, right? Yeah. Embrace the giggles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that loss of quality. Oh, no. Okay. Bad on his flash out there when that happened? The car door. Okay. That scared me. He's crying. Probably all alive. Okay, I hear voices, so.